this is Scott Nuna from Audio Advice with a tech tip on how to fix a glitching Apple TV. So let's say you go to the Apple TV and you're having problems actually getting movies that you've rented or purchased or TV shows. First thing you do is navigate to settings. Under settings, you'll go into the general menu, navigate all the way to the bottom, and this is your, the place that you'll restart the Apple TV. Usually this will fix most things that you can run into. If a restart does not fix it, again, go back into settings, go to general, and you'll go up to software updates, click on that, make sure that you've got your software fully updated. If that still does not work, you're gonna go back into settings, but this time not in general. You'll go down to iTunes store, log out of the store and log back in. These things will fix about 90% of the things that you could run into with an Apple TV. If they don't fully fix everything, your last thing that you'll do is go into settings, go into your general, go all the way down, go one above the restart, and you, this will be a reset. It will factory reset the device, and you'll have to put in all your information again, but it will reset it completely. It should fix most things. If you cannot even see the Apple TV, it's just blinking with a white light on the front of it, nothing's coming out of it. There's actually a trick where you can plug it into a computer using a USB to micro USB cable, and you turn on iTunes, you can actually factory reset the Apple TV without even being able to see it. That'll fix virtually everything you could run into. There has been a recent glitch where it won't play things, you've done all of this and it doesn't work, and what's happening is your authentication of your time and date is not working through your router. And there's actually a neat little trick to fix that. If you go again into settings and you go into general and go into network, you can actually change the network to a hotspot on your phone. It will authenticate and then you'll just restart the Apple TV and then you'll go back and plug it back into your ethernet or you'll put it back on your regular Wi-Fi, and everything should be fixed. This should fix 99% of things with Apple TV. If this doesn't do it, you probably need a new Apple TV.